Hello everyone, welcome to day 33 of my 100 day challenge. We will be solving one of the SQL questions asked by most of the companies. This question was asked by OYO, Netflix and Make My Tree for a data analyst interview. So let's see the question. So the question says write a SQL query to get the nth highest salary. Now we have an employee table which is ID, name, salary, department and all this column and we have all this record. So let's see what is the best approach to solve this problem. Now I have already created the table and inserted the same records. You can see it here. So we have all this record here and uh, we have all this employee ID, name, salary, department and their manager ID and the hiring date. So we just need to find out the nth highest salary. Now this is the question. For solving this question, we need to understand like what is this nth highest salary, right? So if you see, if you see this data, right? If we order this data by the salary. So the highest salary would be the first highest salary, right? So the second highest would be this one, which is the second highest salary. Now we have two records in the second highest salary here. Now this would be our third highest salary. This would be our fourth highest salary. So again, we need to order the data. Now you can see this is the first highest salary. So let's first order the data, then we will see. So I can just go ahead and say order by salary in descending because we want the highest to be first. Now, if I just run this query, you can see this is the first highest salary because this employee has the highest salary in the employee records, right? So this is second highest, this is third highest, this seems to be fourth highest, fifth highest, right? In fifth highest, you can see we have two employees. Okay, now this is sixth highest, seventh highest and eight highest. Now, what is the best approach to solve this problem? Let's say we need to find the nth highest salary, right? So we can say nth highest salary, what we need to find out and highest salary okay so there is a two approach you can solve it now one approach could be right and again wrong as well depending on the data set okay so that's going to be offset and limit so i'm going to use both the approach to show you which approach is best and depending on the data you can choose the right one okay so one is called offset so which i will be using it here now let's say i'm just going to write it called approach one now in approach one we can simply go ahead and say that select everything from employees table and i can simply say limit okay and before limit i can say something called offset okay offset one and limit one so let's first see what this offset function does so this offset function is going to ignore one record from the result okay so if i just delete this a limit for now let me see see we have total nine record and the first record after this order by let me just do a order by here because i need to do a order by by the salary and descending okay now first let's do the order by the data is now ordered by you can see now this is the first record right 95 000. this is the first highest salary correct this employee is the first highest salary so if i say offset one so it is going to ignore the first record from the result after this order by the first record is going to be ignored here now it's going to select rest of the records okay so let's see you can see it has ignored the first record that was eba now we can see the second record that is Ellis, and now we can see total eight records we are getting in return so this offset is going to ignore the number of rows so here you can define how many numbers you want to ignore okay so we can say n is one so this is the n right so you can say n is one two three whatever you want to ignore so you can say n okay now, if you let's say the second highest, if you want, if you say the n is two, so that means you want to find the second highest salary, right? So for the second highest salary, you can say n. Now here you would say n. That means it's going to ignore one records. Okay, so it's going to ignore one records. So we need to say n here. Okay, n minus one. Okay, and I would say limit one. So limit one means I only want to see the second highest salary. See, see, see here one record is ignored. Now, if I just run this query, if I just run this query here, I would need to say n, the value I need to put, which is 2. So that means if I want to see the second highest salary, I can simply go ahead and say here is that second minus 1. If I need the third highest salary, I would say 3 minus 1, that's going to be 2. Now, if I just run this query, okay, you can see I'm getting Ellis because Ellis is the second highest salary. You can verify it. Eva is the first highest salary, which is 95,000. Now, Ellis has the second highest salary, okay. Now in offset, you are just ignoring. See, you know that this is the first highest salary. Once you do order by the first one will be the first highest salary. This will be the second highest salary, correct? If you need, let's say sixth highest salary, right? Sixth highest salary, that means N is going to be six, right? So N is going to be six. You need the sixth highest 
salary employee details correct so that means n is going to be six size salary what you are looking for so if you just see the whole data again you will see that means ava is the first then l is second then this one is third this one is fourth this one this both are fifth okay this is going to be six okay so usually this should be the six size salary which is frank okay so here is the problem okay if you just use a offset then you will not get the correct result because we have two employees with the same salary so for this we have a different approach but i'm going to just show you let's say if you need the six highest salary how do you select it okay so you can simply go ahead and say that here six minus one and you can say limit one okay so this time we will be instead of selecting this is the six highest salary we will be getting the previous one which is michael here okay see we're getting michael because this this is ignoring the five records the first five of uh, uh, fifth record here till till here and this is going to select the one okay so limit is just whatever is left out just limit to one row okay now the reason why it's not working here is that because we have to employ with the same you know salary so if we want the fourth highest salary so this time it is going to work let's say we want to find out n is equals four because we need to find out fourth highest salary okay so we can simply go ahead and say n is equals to four minus one limit one so that means the fourth highest should be debit right let's see you see we are getting debit why because it's ignoring three rows and it's returning the fourth rows right after doing the order by salary in descending so this is works fine till the time you don't have this to employ with the same salary if your data has multiple employees with the same salary so the best function is going to be window function that is going to be dense rank so we will be using now dense rank to solve this okay so we need to find out the sixth highest salary so what you can do we can say we can select everything from employees okay so here i'm just going to say after this i will be using a dense rank function so i would say dense dense rank and i just need to do order by inside this dense rank so i would say over now this is the part of syntax here you can say order by so you can say order by by what so you can say order by by this salary right you want the order by by the salary so i would say order by by salary descending okay and i'm going to save it called d rank okay so if i just run this query you will see a new column is going to be created by this functions called dense rank and the highest salary is going to get rank one because i am doing before creating give you before giving this a dense rank i am ordering this data by the salary in descending the highest salary will get rank one then so on so on okay so let's run it you will see now this highest salary that got rank one second highest salary get rank two third highest salary get rank three fourth highest salary get rank four fifth highest salary get rank fifth now one interesting thing you can see if there are more than one employee have the same salary they both will get the get the same ranking you see these two employee bob and michael have the same salary which is eighty thousand. they're getting rank five okay so that means you can say that if there are multiple employee have the same salary like maybe ninety five thousand, all the employee will get the rank one so whatever the second highest salary automatically will get rank two so that means now we can use this column to filter the data to get the nth highest salary so what i can do to get it i can simply use a ct or sub query i can just go and say select everything from from the below query which is going to be this one i'm going to put it in a parenthesis and you will name it called t1 okay and i would say where this d rank now i can filter by this d rank equals t rank equals one if i need the four size salary if i need the second highest salary i can say here whatever you know i need right oops so i can say d rank it's one it's going to return me the four size salary see i'm just filtering by this if there are more than one employee have the same salary i would have all the employee list okay so let's go ahead and run it so we can see if you need the six size salary you can say six so the data is going to filter by six if you need the seventh highest salary you can put it seven okay so this is going to work fine so whatever the highest salary you need you just put the n values here so if in case n is one you put it here if it's n is two you put it here okay so let's say if you need seventh highest salary we will be getting seven so this query is always going to return the actual that number highest salary if you need seven you get the seven that charlie if you need six you get the six okay so this is the second approach that you have seen here and the earlier one you have seen the that was the first approach in the interviewer they may ask you like okay your data doesn't have any you know two employee with the same salary so is there any other approach you can use that's time you can use this approach which is called offset and limit because this is very easy right you can just write 
two line two line of code and you can you know solve the problem this is also going to save the time but that depends on the data but this is always the best one now if you have any other approach to solve this problem do let me know in the comment box that's it for this video thank you so much for watching the video have a good day take care bye bye